That's what I'm thinking, right? Mm. Okay, I need you to tell me if you think the fridge is good enough to start putting stuff in or what we should do about the cold things. How cold is it? We have that other fridge we can take. That's what I didn't know. It's probably going to be fine. Even if we left it out for three hours on sure. the drive there. You'll turn the propane on when we get on the road? It's, all, it's on already. Oh, it's got a model. Hey guys, Justin here with Mid-City Realty. We're doing another adventure. Oh, there's my wife. And she's pregnant. <laughs> and she was lucky enough to make me the baby daddy. <laughs> so. I love you. Oh, my phone's ringing. We are headed to Goose Island State Park and it's going to be fantastic. It's in Rockport, Texas. Lots of duck hunting, lots of fishing, guided fishing trips, uh, private fishing trips, all that launch out of there. They've got RV spots right on the water and that's where we're going right by the fishing pier too. So you're going to be able to see all that. So if you're a sportsman, if you like duck hunting, fishing, anything like that, uh, or if you just like being by the water, you're really going to love Goose Island. So stay tuned. All right, we got the dogs. Yes, we're the, the weird people that travel with a cat. What's up, Bubba? What's up, Bubba? What's up, Bug? What is that? Hi, B. Yeah, so we're headed to uh, Goose Island State Park. We have the RV in tow, and it's gonna be about two and a half hours, but uh, we'll be there soon. So, uh, yeah, okay, bye. We just got to Goose Island State Park here. We're going to the uh, the RV spot we reserved. So there's, there's kind of two sides of this park. So this this side is on the water right by the pier. And then there's the other side that's uh, kind of in the wooded area. Um, but yeah, we're going to get hooked up, set up, and then I'll uh, take you all around and show you the park. Well, this
we're definitely not level side to side. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why? Pretty good. All right, we're gonna get uh, set up. I'll be right back with you. All right, we have made it to yeah. Rockport. We got the RV all set up. The AC just kicked on and it's super loud. So I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear me. But here is the couch. Here's Sherry. This is my, my wife. This is my dog. <laughs> Hello, B. Hello, B. Where's the other one? <laughs> Uh, you know, he's into what he's into. I'm not judging. <laughs> and then here's the water. So look how close we are to the water. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go walk around a little bit. Where'd she go? Hey, baby. Here is gonna be hard to see. Oh, there's my belly. So we'll go to the pier later, but we'll go to the other side right now. If you're wondering which one is close to the shower house here. And then you can park your boat as well because the boat ramp is literally right there. Literally. So, no drones. And there could be alligators. So we're in, here's the park. So where do we come in at? Here we go. So there, so we're over here, right here. We're gonna go walk over here, and then this is the big area that's kind of wooded, so it's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. I think it's cool. Been down here a couple of times. Uh, it's it's awesome. There's really good fishing, like I said, off the pier, which I'll take y'all to tonight. And then here in the bay, uh, it's pretty good most of the time. It's really choppy. I was gonna bring my kayak, but I'm glad I didn't because that would not be fun. Oh, fishing, here we go. Yeah, so these are the different types of fish you'll see here. Black drum, hardhead catfish, and you will catch a lot of those. Panfish, spotted trout, striped mullet, southern flounder, sheep's head, sand sea trout, and red drums. So, so, yeah, anyway, let's keep walking. Here is the boat ramp. So, lots of space, got some vultures here. Cause there's always fish getting cleaned out here. In fact, there's one right there. Public consumption or displayed alcohol is prohibited. So they have a full-on uh, cleaning table with outlets and water on both sides. 
Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but there's pelicans up there on that light pole. So yeah, if, you, if you're a fisherman or a duck hunter, um, if you hire a guide down here, most likely they're gonna take you out of here. So this is, uh, I forget the number, but a lot of the country's duck hunting traffic comes through here because the hunting down here is so good. Um, I don't know all the stats. I've never duck hunted down here, but if it's something you're into, a uh, quick Google search could probably tell you a whole lot. Uh, I know people who have hunted down here. Uh, the guides I've gone on fishing trips with host uh, blast and cast fishing and hunts, and they say the hunting's great. So, um, yeah, if you're interested, check it out for sure. there the the road goes right around that way but i'm gonna take a shortcut and go to these uh little uh, day use camp or uh, picnic areas oh you can see the deer can you see the deer i hope you can So you've got barbecue pit, picnic tables, covered shelter. There's a handful of them down here, there's a lot. So there's that deer right there. And this is a GoPro, he's a lot closer than he looks. But So you can come all the way over here. And get right into the water or fish, you know, whatever you want to do. There's a handful of them down here that are pretty close. So you've got water, no power at any of these, but you do have water. All right, so I'm gonna skip ahead now because we're gonna go around to the uh, more wooded side where you have uh, RV spots in the trees and uh, in the brush over there. So it's totally different from these spots over here. Uh, it's a lot more privacy over here. We stayed over here last time we were out here and it was my first time staying out at these spots and it was, it was pretty nice, but there, I don't think anything compares to being on the water like that. Okay, there's the uh, parking lot I just left, but I wanted to show you this here. So you have the, for all you RV folks, you have the dump station right there. So beachside RV sites, you just come right in here, do your business, and then go out the uh, the main gate. Oh, that guy gave me a dirty look. But it is really awkward filming these videos around people. So uh, yeah, anyway, I guess he wasn't happy. This right here, uh, where is it? Yeah, right here. So this, coming out of the wood, that's a tree. Believe it or not. Wow. That's amazing. And then you'll see other trees all over the place. So there are trees in Texas. Okay, that's the entrance there that we came in we went down this road over there to the boat ramp so the other area is to the right so you come in you take a right you'll go to these spots <clears throat> all right there's some uh, camping sites so no electricity but you have water these are available this is pretty cool so See, there's the park rules. Let's go down here. Here is the dump station if you stay on this side.
another camping spot. And if you're, see, this is what I'm talking about as far as privacy goes. Look at this buffer you have. Water there, a little fire pit, table. Just look. Look at the privacy you have in here. This is this is awesome. So, uh, if you like your privacy while you're camping, this is this is one of the best spots. So a lot of them are going to be really similar to this, uh, but this one's nice and it's right at the front, so it's super easy to get wherever you need to go. There's more spots down there, just like that. Oh, another tree. the nature trail so here is where we are that's where we came in so this is the road that we've walked so far so I've got quite a ways to go here um, there's the road we just left there's RV spots down here RV spots down here RV spots down here and you can see how big how long this trail is and then back to the front, but I might have to cut this short because my battery's dying and I didn't think to bring another one. Well, we'll see, we'll see how far we get. RV, it's 132, there's another one, nice spots. Nice airstream. And I'm here on a Wednesday because my wife is off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I don't know, it's pretty busy on the weekends, but it's very empty today. This spot is where we stayed the first time we came over here and I hit that tree. It was the first trip for our RV, first trip, brand new RV and or new to us, but I hit that tree right there. Put a hole in the roof. Small hole, but still a hole in the roof. You're an idiot. Yeah. So be careful. Youth group area here. We have covered picnic tables, covered area with a fire pit here. That's pretty cool. Bunch of seashells. So yeah, really cool area. Uh, just kind of hang out. A couple other fire pits. You got water over there. You got looks like a 30 amp RV connection there. So. Um, I don't know, I guess you could park your RV in here. Uh, maybe that's to power some, I don't know, something. But anyway, it's a cool little area. Pretty good parking. So down that way, which you can't really see, that's the top of the loop. There's RV spots down here. They're all off the road, so they're not as private. A couple of people there right now, but those are good. Um, I learned that some of these spots can be kind of tight in those areas where I, where I showed you where we were. Uh, these are really nice. These spots along the main loop are nice to get in and out of. Uh, if you are new to backing a trailer or if you have a RV, uh, those, these ones on the loop are really great because they're super, like I said, they're super easy to get in and out of. And if I had to do it again, I'd probably rent one of those just because it's simple. So here is the end of that trail 
that I showed y'all in the beginning. So hummingbirds and uh, some other stuff. So yeah, we're here now. This is where we were. This is that loop I was just talking about with RV spots on it. Anywhere along here is going to be super, super easy to, to park. So if you're new to backing or just don't like squeezing into weird, awkward spots, that's exactly what I would do. How's it going? No matter which way you come around, the way they're angled, super easy. Oh shit, look at that. Dang. That thing's sweet. Another good one. Oh, there's some deer. Um, see, but they have all this brush, this buffer. Yo, hey, what's up? And uh, like I said, they're, a lot of them are private. The only reason you wouldn't have a lot of privacy or as much privacy on this road is because it's the main loop and people are gonna drive back and forth, but we got deer. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's great. And my wife, she's gonna get so sick of me making these videos, aren't you, honey? No. Okay. Well, you guys saw the park yesterday. Uh, it's a beautiful park, really nice for relaxing. There isn't a ton of stuff to do, but the you have the boat ramp, so and, and fishing really. So um, otherwise, it's a really good place to just come relax by the water or if you're on the wooded side You have all the privacy in the world you want from those spots. So today we're gonna go into Rockport So you're gonna see exactly how far it is from here. It's it's a really close drive, but we're gonna go into the city of Rockport We're gonna get some uh, Awesome Cajun food. I'll show you the food truck I think it's the best in town and then we're gonna get some bait and then later tonight. We're gonna go fishing. So yeah so we're gonna go into the city and Show you guys around so let's go really good fishing in there uh, kayak fish and there's this little there's like a little uh, cove back in there it's really nice Stopped and get some Cajun food from the real Cajun cooking food truck here. It's in the parking lot of Lulu's Landing, right across from the gun store and lighthouse inn. This is the best Cajun food we found in Rockport right now, or anytime soon. It, it is awesome. If you're here, I would definitely recommend stopping by and uh, trying a little bit of everything that they have. Uh, <laughs> uh, can I get the boudin egg rolls? I know that was on okay. there. 
uh, red beans and rice, and then hush puppies. Regular jalapeno. Uh, regular. Actually, do, can I do one order regular, one order jalapeno? So you want me to just do a full basket and then do you half and half? Because yeah. the basket comes with 12 and then a side is only five. Yeah, okay, that's fine. 12 is perfect, yeah. Yes, what, do you have anything spicy? Like, yeah, like the alligator bites or anything like that? Um, you have the alligator oh. bites, uh, we put Staffy Mama on it and then it's served with our sweet chili Thai sauce. Okay. And then our jambalaya down there, we have a special, you can get a a cup of jambalaya with catfish or shrimp or oysters. Oh, I'll do that. I'll do the jambalaya with catfish. So. Hey, have you had crawfish? Do you like crawfish? Uh, I I actually don't remember the last time I had crawfish. They're not as hot as they usually are, but try them. Okay. Oh my God. Best crawfish I've ever had in my life. How, uh, how do you eat these? Seriously? 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 <laughs> so you'll pop that head you can suck the head if you want to okay pinch that tail and then i wiggle it out best flipping crawfish i've ever had if you can't get it just peel around where the feet will come off a little bit it'll poke out a little bit and then you'll squeeze that tail just a little bit oh i see it'll pop it and then you can wiggle it out oh i butchered that one. Oh, i got it Oh, that is good. We're gonna have to come back for some of that. Yeah. Do you need a receipt? No, I don't need one. You just live about 15 minutes and I'll bring it out to you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have you ever had crawfish? Mm-mm. They have crawfish, it's super good. What did you say? Like, she loved you. What do you mean? You were just, you're so charming. Oh, uh, sorry, oh. No, 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 no. No, what? The jambalaya special. Did you want shrimp, catfish, or oysters? Uh, what do you, what would you recommend? Not oysters, between catfish and shrimp. Catfish is Okay, catfish, yeah. <laughs> like, for real. Okay. Whoa. What's up? What's up, guys? Say the special words. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey. What is it, a treat? Whoa, no. We'll get you a treat later. You want a treat later? Hello. Hey. Hush. Ooh, my button is very scary. there with Adrian and Val before. Yeah, boiling pot, that's another good one. How's it going? Are y'all open? Yep. Okay. I need my wallet. Here you go. Gracias. Let me just get a pint. Yeah, please. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, what? All right, we got the food, we got the bait. We're gonna go back and uh, eat and do some fishing tonight. See you in a bit. Okay. Lots of fishermen out today. This is Copano Bay. This is a big bridge you come in on. Again, there's, how many gallons do you think that is? A couple. More like a couple hundred. <laughs> Dummy. The water's getting more choppy. I guess that happens as the day goes on. Yeah. 
It comes from, I think, it gets choppy like that when the fish, there's a lot more fish swimming around. And so it causes those waves to, yeah, it causes all that choppiness, so. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the fins, like the, the yeah. We're gonna have to dig deeper into this. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. I think that's something to do with the tide. No. Oh, no. No, that's, uh, that's for laundry. What? That's for laundry. <laughs> Y'all tell us who's right. Is it the fish or the detergent? <laughs> My wife. Almost done, folks. That's our girl. All right, let's go fishing. Well, um, that's a bummer. Went out there to go get the shrimp that we bought earlier, and I guess the the water got real choppy and broke the bait bucket, and all the shrimp are gone. So, no fishing for me tonight. I would go get more bait, but I've already had a couple beers, so I'm not gonna drive and do all that nonsense. Um, well, maybe uh, maybe next time we'll do a fishing video. Probably wouldn't have caught anything historically which is really unfortunate because I had just mustered up the energy to go out on the pier all night. So um, I guess it's just a uh, casual night in here watching Florida Man on Netflix, which is pretty good by the way. We've only watched one or two episodes and uh, I gotta say, it's pretty good. All right, well, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, Goose Island State Park is awesome. It just coming down to the coast anywhere here, Corpus Christi or Port Aransas is always good, but Goose Island just feels like a, it's just relaxing. Lots of good fishing. And like I said, if you know someone with a boat or if you want to take a guided fishing trip, this is the place to be. So, um, and fun fact, when I register or when I reserved our spot for the two nights, there was like a day use fee, a parking fee, uh, obviously the fee to rent the spot. But I had a Texas Parks and Wildlife Park Pass that uh, I didn't used when we reserved it. So instead of $64, we got a $31 refund when I checked in because I had that card. So if you're thinking about visiting any of the parks, um, that card is well worth it. So I think it was like 60 bucks. Um, so if you stay at a park two times a year, a couple nights, three nights, uh, it's gonna pay for itself. So anyway, hope you liked the video. Uh, my wife is back there very annoyed with me because um, I'm a big YouTuber now and um, I've got like 10 subscribers, I think. And I, I just wanted to know that I'm the same person that I've always been. So I don't think that's gonna change me whether it goes to 14 or 15, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you wanna see me go somewhere else or if you know of a cool spot, uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. Why are you laughing at me? I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> what is that? All right, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for uh, joining me. Yeah.